One thing I found about Chris is he is a master at finding shade to <laughs> put stuff up on his bike. Like he can find shade in the desert and literally does. Um, I'm learning from the master on that one. Epic day ahead of us, last bit of a journey. It's I think been a good one. It's been a, a good dust one. one. A dusty one. I'm, uh, I think we're both tired and uh, bruised, bruised <laughs> and battered and uh, it's been super fun. Yes, it's, it has. It's bittersweet loading up the bikes. For the last. One last time. Our bikes are on the other side of this. There's two large trees, no way across. You can see Chris's bike has a tree there. And then, uh, so we're gonna have to figure a way around. And what we're thinking is coming up through here. Oh. And uh, through the woods and just powering them through all the way down. And uh, I guess I'm first. Oh, let's ride it out. There you go. Good job, Mike. Oh, the little All right. We finished a ride just finished lunch here at Moe's Barbecue, and I got some new swag for the DRZ. All right, this is the final check-in, day six. We are complete. We just slabbed 140 miles back to the truck. 100, yeah. How much? 177 for the day. Okay, and how, how, many, how many miles total? We did in total 1,249 miles uh, since we left the truck in the last six days. See, hopefully you y'all can see that. It's been awesome. I do have to report the turn signal repair failed. <laughs> My speedometer cable right there, it uh, it finally broke off. My speedometer cable finally broke off. Whoops. However, the straps held, and we're all healthy, and we're excited. And we're glad the adventure happened and we're glad it's over. It's totally awesome. <laughs> and we're sore. And we're really sore. Shit, how many miles is it to Tennessee? <laughs> A long ways. <laughs>